Hello students, welcome back to my channel. I <clears throat> I hope you all are fine. Okay, and now see here. Today I am going to teach you most important chapter, second year topic. There is a sixth chapter, current electricity. In that current electricity, we are having total three LAQs. In the first LAQ, see here, Kircher flask. Define the Kircher flask and Western Bridge. Okay, define the Kircher flask and Western Bridge. First of all, before the going, enter into the topic. And now I request you to all members, please like and share and subscribe my channel. अगर से अच्छा लगा तो जरूर शेयर करिए. And now see here, uh, see here, sir. Kircher flask and Western Bridge. In the Kircher flask, it can be classified as two types of flasks. First one is Kircher first flask. Ah, uh, that is called here junction flask. That is called ah, uh, that is called here current flask. This one one only it has here three names. Kircher first flask, junction flask, current flask. Okay, that's one. And now see here first of all, what is the Kircher junction flask? Ah, uh, junction flask ah, uh, Kircher first flask. See here. The sum of the current towards the junction is equal to the sum of the current away from the junction. Means junction junction को आधे सौ करंट is equal to junction से ज़्यादा सौ करंट. See here, let us consider we are taking here suppose suppose see here this is the current I one and this is the current I two. These two are can meeting at junction. Okay, and now see here the remaining current R can be passing away from the junction. That is I three, I four, and I five. Now if you can I five. If you can observe here, current I one and current I two, these two R aroma can be moving towards the junction. Means sum of the current towards the junction is equal to the sum of the current away from the junction. So we can get here that is I one plus I two is equal to I I3 plus I4 plus I5. The sum of the current towards the junction is equal to the sum of the current away from the junction. This is the Kircher first law. Or suppose if you want direct definition, see here we can write here the algebraic sum of the algebraic sum of total current meeting at junction, which is equal to zero. That is the Kircher first law. See. Sigma i is equal to zero. Sigma i is equal to zero. Sigma i means nothing but this one only. So we can write here i one plus i two minus i three minus i four minus i five, which is equal to zero. So this is our Kircher first law definition. And now see here Kircher second law. This is the first one. And now we can take here Kircher. Kircher second law. Kircher second law, sir. Kircher second law. Or it has another one name. That is loop law. That is a loop law. Okay. And another one also is there. Voltage law. Kircher second law. Loop law. Another one also is there. That is voltage law. So first of all, what is the Kircher second law? Kircher second law says here, sir, the algebraic sum of the algebraic sum of total potential difference through any closed surface is equal to zero. That means sigma v is equal to zero. Or if you want to write, see sigma i r is equal to zero. According to the potential difference, I mean according to the Ohm's law, the potential difference v is equal to i r. So replace of V we can get here I R. So mean nothing but the total potential difference through any closed surface is equal to zero. This is called here Kirchhoff second law or loop law. Once again I am telling here Kirchhoff second law means the algebraic sum of changes in total potential difference through any closed surface is equal to zero. This is called here Kirchhoff second law. And for this Kirchhoff second law, we are having best example. I am taking here example. What is the example here, sir? Means let us consider we are taking here three types of resistors. This is a battery, and now we are taking here three types of resistors. One and this one two. Second resistance. 
and another one is and this is a three means R one, R two, and R three. See, this is the point A, and this is the point B. So now see here the when the current battery passes through terminal and negative terminal. Everyone, you have to remember <coughs> the electrons it can be moved from negative charges to positive charge. But the electrons, I mean the current, it can be passing from battery pass through terminal to negative terminal. See. The current it will be passing here battery positive terminal. Okay, so the the current can be passing in clockwise direction. Clockwise direction. Let us consider we are taking here three type of resistance A R one R two R three for the closure path A B A A B and again A. So for the closure path, we are taking here A B A, and that A B A, the potential difference can be drop on each and every resistance is that is I one R one comma I two R two. Sorry, I R one comma I R two, I R two and I R three. Because of according to the Ohm's law, the potential difference is V is equal to I R. So that's why we are taking here I R one, I R two, I R three. The potential can be drop on each and every resistor. Okay. The C R current will be passing here in the clockwise direction. Now we are going to take here whenever we are taking along the direction of current, along the direction of flow of current, that the potential difference we are taking as a negative. We are taking as a negative. Okay. And now see here when the The uh, EMF of a cell that is nothing but E, that is nothing but E. Okay, that EMF of a cell through the circuit diagram that is we are taking here positive. So now we can add here the total potential difference. The total potential difference through the circuit any closure path is equal to zero. So that's why we are getting E minus I R one minus I R two minus I R three, which is equal to zero. Then again, E is equal to I R one plus I R two plus I R three. Then again, you have to remove. I mean, you have to take out the common here I. Then you will get here R one plus R two plus R three. So now, if you want, this is the EMF of a cell. This is the one formula. Suppose if you want here current. Then you have to subject here current value. That is I is equal to E by R one plus R two plus R three. So, so this is the most important formula for the sol. Most important formula for the solving of problems in for the N C Nietzsche. This is the most important formula. See here how many resistances it can become in the circuit diagram. That much resistance E by that much resistance can become. Suppose if you have two resistances, you can take. Suppose it has here n resistance, then also we have to substitute and find the answer easily. Okay, this is about the completely Kirchhoff loss. Only Kirchhoff loss, not Western bridge. After this, we are having here Western bridge. This is the one part of from starting to here. If you can write here, then you will get here two marks for LAQ. This is the most important LAQ. Okay. <coughs> And now next one. And now next one. I hope you all understand this one. And the remaining part you have to see in the next video. That is the most important Western Bridge. Okay. In the next part, this is the part one of the la. Uh, I mean, current electricity means switch off the Western Bridge. This is the part one. And the remaining part you have to see in the next video, okay? Because of and now see here, I request you to all members like and share and subscribe my channel. Because of any videos it can become suppose if I will upload here that videos it can become in front of you, okay, sir? Thank you, thank you very much.